Hi, I'm Sean. This is Heidi. And what we want to do is talk about some of the things that we like about AutoCAD 2010. We've been traveling around, talking with customers, uh, reseller partners. What, what have you been doing, Heidi? Oh, I was in China just a few weeks ago talking to some of our partners over there. And I've done several webcasts with our developer partners and uh, reseller partners and, yeah, variety of, of internal and external people. So we've got a good idea of what the customers and partners are liking about AutoCAD 2010. We're going to give you kind of the ones that we like, kind of bite-sized nuggets of some of the features that we feel are, are pretty darn cool. And there's a lot of them. We could spend probably 30, 40 minutes on going through this whole bullet list. But we'll just kind of give you the 20,000 foot level one. So Heidi, pick out a feature and, and tell us a little bit about it. I have to say I am very excited about parametric drawing. Um, this is... Absolutely. You can start with a rough sketch in AutoCAD, and you can apply geometric and dimensional constraints. And you know, geometric, for example, they can be, make your lines parallel or perpendicular. You can um, have them horizontal, create a fixed point, just a lot of tools that you can apply to this geometry. And it maintains those relationships as you start editing the geometry. So it's incredibly powerful. Dimensional constraints, you can um, create variables and, and <coughs> create variables and add um, dimensions to these parts that you're creating in AutoCAD and then drive them through these dimensional um, values. So it, incredibly It's powerful. about time that we can change that dimension value and the line changes with yes, it. Yes, exactly. Very exciting. That's one of the first <laughs> things that people do when they first learn AutoCAD. It's like, oh, I'm going to change the dimension. Hey, the line didn't change length. Now that's there. And you know, from what I've heard as I've been presenting this to partners and people that work with our other applications, it's very consistent and what people use in AutoCAD as well as with our other products like Inventor, it really applies. It's the same um, underlying idea and the workflow. So right. it kind of goes across our products now. And the constraints are available also in dynamic blocks. And in addition, we've cleaned up dynamic blocks so you don't see a million lightning bolts all over. It's much cleaner. Um, you can also test your dynamic blocks. So no more like myself, finding out that I made a mistake after I've saved the block. I can test it right inside of the block editor itself. Um, and you can insert block tables that are really easy to, to insert values and drive your geometry with these block tables. And even the order that you have the columns in the block tables kind of drives how the user would, would react and use that block insertion. And we've done a lot of work in 3D, yes. AutoCAD work in 3D. We've added things that some of our other products don't even do. And that's some of the meshes and organic shapes you can now create inside of AutoCAD. Um, you can create organic shapes that you couldn't in the, uh, in the past, as well as the gizmos that we introduced in AutoCAD 2007 to manipulate 3D geometry have been greatly enhanced. A scale gizmo and, and all those different kinds of things. And you know what I really like about all of this, what we've talked about so far, like parametrics, the freeform modeling, these are huge features, great productivity boosters, but they're easy. You don't have to um, you know, sit down and try to dissect all these tools in order to use them. You can sit down, and they're very intuitive. Just start using them right away. And there's a lot. You know, so if, you, if you've seen the AutoCAD 2009 subscription uh, bonus packs, those are inside of AutoCAD 2010. So you get your, your PDF reference layer. You get your enhanced PDF output. You get your measuring commands. Um, plus, so much more. I, I sound like a Ginzu knife salesman <laughs> here. But, you know, editing of hatches. But wait, and, there's more. Yeah, we could just keep going on. Well, and like with the measuring commands, it seems so small, but the area command, for example, the old area command, if you start picking points to determine an area, you probably know this if you've tried this before, that you don't, you don't know where you started because you don't have any interaction from AutoCAD. With the er new enhanced area tool and the measure tools in AutoCAD 2010, you actually get a, a highlighted area of where you've picked. It's much more intuitive, easy to use. You know where you started. Uh, yeah. A lot of work on hatches. So if you did a hatch far away from the origin, way out there, especially civil types, um, you would sometimes get unexpected results. We've done a lot of work in that. Also, when you do a hatch that's not closed, the boundary's not closed, and you sit there and try and figure out, well, you know, uh, HP gap tolerance, I don't know, and you can't figure it out, it actually shows you visually where that, that boundary is open so you can close it yourself. And what about hatch editing? Did you mention that? Uh, a little I bit. Love. So if you create a hatch now in AutoCAD 2010 or if you open up a drawing in 2010 that has old unassociated, unassociative hatches, you can grip edit those hatches. Really easy, just intuitive, click on it, Grab, grab that grip and edit it. That has been one of the number one oohs and ahs yeah. from the customers in the betas. 
Um, I, there, there's just a bunch. We did a lot of the graphics system work. Um, CUI is much more faster, and the ribbon actually made number three in a poll of what you could, the customers like. You know, that was the biggest surprise to me because in AutoCAD 2009, the ribbon was new and it was you know, such a different way of working. In 2010, it's very context sensitive, and I, I could not work without the ribbon. It's, when you need tools, they're right there, right? Easy for you to get to. You don't have to think about it, and it maximizes your, maximizes your drawing area. Well, thanks, Heidi. I mean, we could go on for probably 20 or we 30 could. minutes, but uh, <laughs> there's a lot in there. So thank Great. you very much. Thank you.